Hi everyone, this is Olita and in this video we're gonna be digging so much, not very much, <laughs> um, into self-development. So my YouTube video, the, it usually talks about self-development and self-improvement. So if you're into it, make sure to have uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel because you don't want to miss anything on my YouTube channel. So yeah, in this video we're gonna be talking about how to choose friends wisely. So friends really impact a lot on your future. Friends really impact a lot on your present. The people that you choose around you, the people that you choose to interact with, the people that you choose to study with, the people that you choose to make a deal in the business, it really will impact something big in the future. So these environment around you also impacts how the result is going to be in the future. So I know that stoicism always teach you how to control yourself, how to focus on your inner self more, but also I don't deny that the environment around us, the outer the outer world around us is also important to support our self-improvement or self-development, whether it's educationally or mentally or even physically. For example, you go to the gym and you don't eat enough healthy food it doesn't matter if you go to the gym like twice a, twice a day, like twice a day, 24-7, because you still eat so much gross, unhealthy food, if you get what I mean. And so, you know, choosing friends is also very important in life. This video doesn't have like any script or anything. I just thought about telling you guys something that I think is really important for people to know. So. I haven't had an experience of choosing the wrong environment, basically wrong friends, where I used to get, a, I didn't used to get along with some people in my life because we didn't have the same energy, we didn't have the same frequency in life. So you know the term of uh, frequency, people has different frequency frequency so for example you are in the state of mind of this and the other people have the state of mind of maybe these or these it's not stable or it's not equal between you and them so you're gonna have a hard time trying to figure out or trying to understand them in any way so i guess if you really want someone that really understand you and support you in any way you can choose someone that is in the same frequency as you what is exactly the same frequency the same frequency means that they have basically pretty much similar goals to you it doesn't have to be the same but maybe similar for example you your hobby is into gym right you you like going to the gym but this other girl maybe i'm maybe i met another girl for example she likes doing yoga more rather than gym she doesn't like lifting weights and stuff so it could be similar because it's both both work on your strength physical strength so we could share some things about okay um what is the healthy thing about this, 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 this. We can share pre pretty much like similar knowledge about this fitness thing. Also, we could eat healthy food together, maybe cook together and something like that. So you could get along with the people like that. So you have the same frequency. So if you don't have the same frequency of the, um, as other people, you would have a hard time trying to improve yourself. For example, you are surrounded by a lot of people that doesn't like violin, for example, and you really love playing playing violin you will have a hard time trying to improve because those kind of people who said that violin is useless by you don't need to play violin like what are you doing with violin violin and what what would it benefit you what would it will benefit you in the future what's the purpose of playing violin do you make a lot of money by playing violin blah 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 blah, blah. so these kind of people will tend to judge you because i had an experience in that unless it's you are surrounded by a lot of people that doesn't even care that don't even care about what you're doing so it's a different case but most of the time they would just if you consider them as your friends and you interact so much with them they will talk to you of course and they will tell you that at the end of the day or even 
you don't find any support system enough support system from your environment because they just don't say anything about violin because they're not into it so yeah basically maybe you can learn to make friends with other people that don't it doesn't have to be the same person uh, the, the person that has the same hobby like exactly the same hobby maybe you can find someone that maybe um, play guitar for example or play piano or they can play kajon if you know kajon or they can play any other type of instruments musical instruments that you guys can maybe play together so it is the same frequency you will have the same frequency as them and you can get along with them and you can support them and also uh, these kind of people will impact your future and your career in the future why for example you have a boyfriend or girlfriend that doesn't there was really the opposite of you like you don't even agree on anything or especially if you have a boyfriend because boyfriend and girlfriend boyfriend and girlfriend they really impact a lot on your mental um, mental health mental health I would say because why because you're gonna be around them 24 7 for sure you're gonna be around them you're gonna be interacting with them you're gonna be having conversation deep conversation with them and you're gonna be asking for their, their opinions on things right because that's partnership so when you build a partnership with the person with the wrong person or with the there okay there's no wrong or right person okay you, it, you just don't have the same frequency as them so let's say that you don't have the same frequency as your girlfriend or as your boyfriend what would happen is you are going to find it difficult to really improve on the things that you like you really will find it difficult to improve on your career you really will find it difficult to to maybe improve on any of the things maybe educationally because they're not there it's not like they're not there but it's just like they don't know what to do because you you don't even have the same hobbies you don't even have this not the same hobbies it's like the same thoughts the same opinions and you both are stubborn to, to agree on something so I guess it's not gonna work for both of you unless you both um, have different hobbies but you both are able to agree on something like at the end of the day okay we agree on this okay you like you're mature enough but not a lot of people would do that so I suggest you to just find someone that has the same frequency as you so the next thing is that there are some type of people that would impact your life based on the book that I read it's um, why talent is never enough so there is this the this first person this first person would impact you um, no, would not impact you at all this first person is a type of person who is a stranger so you you just walk around the street and you just meet them and then that's it like you don't you don't really interact with them you see them and that's it so this doesn't have any impact in your life the second person is that this the person or uh, that friend who would bring you almost bring you into negativity that would almost bring you into failure failure so this type of friend usually they friend B let's say friend B they usually would ask you to stop doing that because there's no point of doing that so these type of people that you usually are not aware of usually this you you the one that is that that is watching right now you usually are not aware of these the existence of these kind of people in your life but they exist they just affect you um in a different way that you don't aware you're, that you're not aware of so for example sometimes i tell sometimes you complain or sometimes you tell your stories or your day with them you share your day you share something to them and then they goes um i think you should leave them or or i think 
you will look very ugly with this blah 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 if you understand what I mean because I often find this type of people in my life like they would say some not nice things I mean not, not to make me improve but like to make me be a failure if you know what I mean they're not even aware that they're doing that and you're not even aware that they're doing that so I guess you have to be really careful on that and the second thing is that the, no, the third thing is that the type of friend that would support you so supporting here means that they would give you advices for example they they don't judge they just give you the advices there's a difference between judging and advising so they would advise you on the things that you should improve on or they would say oh let's just compare these and these so maybe uh, for your for your ability or for your ability you can you can do this or um, I know that you don't like this what if we try another way I can help you to try to find an information about these things this problem etc so I guess it's really gonna be beneficial and helpful for you to have them around you to help you on opening more insights in your life and opening your eye more because they would have different perspectives than you yeah, and yes this can be very useful and the next thing is that the type of person who would disagree on anything you say they would disagree on anything you say and this is actually toxic and you know that right like everything you do anything you do they just don't like it and they just don't they just disagree with any of it so basically obviously yes it's not going to help you improve anything in life in life so yeah as I said before the conclusion of this video is that you have to be wise enough to choose who you're gonna be with in the future either it's friendship or relationship or even family your family could be the reason of your success success or your fail failure so it's up to you to decide who you want to listen to and who you want to be around with so for example even if they're your family sometimes they would just bring up something that would demotivate you so you don't feel motivated so even though they're your family i don't think you should be listening to them because yeah again you're not in the same frequency as them they they i don't say they're wrong or they're right or you're you're with the wrong people you're with, you're with the right people there's no right people wrong people it's just like everyone or some people have different frequency as other people so it's just how you will find someone to have the same frequency okay then the last thing the last but not least is that i would suggest you to make friends online to if you don't find any anyone that would agree with you or that would give you beneficial advices or that would help you to improve in life um if you don't find anyone in real life you could try to make friends online i guess there's a lot you can reach a lot more people maybe abroad or maybe in the same country and i think that's gonna be very helpful for you to gain a lot more insights from other people for example this is not a sponsorship but i really do feel like using tandem the application tandem is really beneficial for me i used to talk with foreigners um, in tandem a lot and they come from different backgrounds they might be lawyers they might be engineers they might be singers or they might not singers of course but like this is just an example but one time i met like a girl she also studied the same thing as me and but in another country so it was interesting and i got a lot more insights and i became more wise to choose okay i like this type of people they really motivate me to do something positive to to 
improve my hobby, to improve my ability to speak another language, for example. So, basically, making friends online is very helpful and it's amazing. It's amazing. Friendship, online friendship is amazing. It's just, you have to choose wisely, okay? So, yeah, that's all for, for me and I guess see you next time in the next video and I hope this video is gonna be very helpful and beneficial for you. Bye bye!